Hello, I'm Mariam and you are watching One India News. The goods and services tax, which is GST, shall be implemented from the 1st of July. The move will replace more than a dozen levies with the new goods and services tax. This would reduce the immense power India's middlemen wield at the state borders, free up internal trade, make it easier to do business and widen the country's tax base. A common market shall be created that will increase efficiency and growth. The transit time due to road block and other stoppages will also be eliminated and so would the logistic cost. India will have four tax brackets instead of a flat rate that many other countries exercise. For example, air conditioners, refrigerators and makeup shall be taxed at 28% while toothpaste at 18%, plane tickets at 5%. Staples such as food, greens and vegetables will not be taxed, while education and health services will continue to be exempted. Currently, companies operate smaller factories and warehouses to take advantage of tax breaks offered by various states, as well as to avoid transporting goods over too many borders. The incoming GST will also force companies to consolidate their supply chain among fewer larger facilities. One of the biggest goals of the GST is to widen the tax net in an economy where more than 90% of workers are employed informally. Companies will need to be in the tax system. Pressure to comply will increase along the line and the black economy will gradually shrink. These were some of the impacts that GST will have on our Indian economy. That's all for now. For more news and updates, please subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.